uh, my people on, on YouTube, welcome. God bless you. Now, I'm going to read from Deuteronomy, Destroy Your Enemies, chapter number 28, from verses number 1. Now, hear this. The Bible says, It and it shall come to pass. Ha! Ha! You see, when God is saying that, you see we like the prophetic and we lie we love to be prophesied to but i tell you that child of god the beginning of prophecy the author of every prophet and every prophetic move is god now the bible says and it shall come to pass this is a prophecy that god has given Yes, you are trusting God for a miracle, for a marriage. You have hope that one day at a time there is something that God will do in your life. But then God has given me this prophetic word to bring it unto you. That child of God, it shall come to pass. You are trusting God. You know, people have different levels of trusting in God and having to believe for miracles and many things from God. But then the Bible says that for sure, it doesn't matter if your level is in millions, in thousands, whatever you are hoping for, the Lord told me to come and tell you that it shall surely come to pass. But then you see this prophetic word that I have for you today has a condition. And the condition is if. You see, every time somebody begins to speak to you and they begin to use words like if, uh, but, words like those, uh, uh, Melin, God bless you for your offering. Uh, it means that child of God, the, the conversation has changed. The Bible says it shall come to pass. You will marry. You will buy that car. You will have the money. You will experience the promotion. You will have your miracle. You will have your testimony. If. Every time we come to God with expectations. But then have we ever asked. Have you ever asked yourself. I have my expectation. I want God to do this to me. I want God to move this out of my life. I want God to bring this in my life. But what is the expectation of God from me? In as much as I want that marriage so badly. In as much as I want to move in the blessings and the goodness of God in my life. What is God's expectations uh, from me? Because in as much as I, am, I, I want something from God. Then there is something that God God wants and requires from me and this is where we go wrong because we expect to come to God and make demands and requirements and not to expect God to ask anything from us and when the man of God is saying let us give our offering our tithes let us make our sacrifices we feel as if we have been robbed uh, we begin to feel as if the man of God is using us. The man of God is taking advantage of our money. But we don't remember, we don't uh, focus, we don't think, we don't mind in as much as we come uh, in the presence of God with demands. We, God, I want you to do me this. God, I want you to give me that. Uh, God, I want, I want, I want. But then do you ask yourself, what? does God require from me? I understand that I need help. And I know for sure that God can help me. God can give me that answer I've been looking for. My mother never gave it to me. My brothers, everybody I know, everybody I anticipated could help me have not yet they have neglected some of them have forsaken me and i know that the answer i'm looking for is all 
only when I run and go to God. But then as I am going to pray, as I am going to receive, as I am going for the man of God to prophesy and speak deep things in the spirit that God is revealing to him, what requirement, what does God want me to do? Hmm. When you are moving your way with your shopping list to the shop, you are sure that if I go to the supermarket, I will get the bread. I will find rice. I will find meat. I will find everything I have put on my list. But then I am going there because I want the things that are on my list. But I assure you, the moment you get to the supermarket, uh, the supermarket or the counter, the people on the counter are expecting you to behave, uh, to comply, to, to have to come with some requirement uh, which may imply to you having uh, to touch your money, to pay for whatever you have picked from the shelves in the supermarket. Now you see, God has no difference from such a supermarket because there is a currency that God understands that for you to get Samuel, uh, for you to get a son called Samuel, I need to have something. I need to receive something from you first. And Anna noticed that for me to get a child, I need to make a sacrifice. You see, uh, the Lord says, call unto me and I will answer. Uh, this is a requirement. So it is a currency that God has given you for you to get an answer, for you to get a call or rather an answer of your call. So every time you are coming to a service, be prepared. The Lord is saying it shall come to pass. You will have that house. You will have the blessing. You will have the money. You will have the marriage. Ah, you have tried it. You have been looking for it. Yes, it shall come to pass. But then if hmm, you, if you shall hearken, hmm, if you shall hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Ah, so there is a condition. I need to get to Malawi but because I have no ability to disappear and appear in Malawi like Stephen and Jesus and everybody in the Bible that disappeared then their condition I need to find my way to the airport ha! you see you can get to Malawi nobody has a problem with you getting to where you're going but you need to have it into your attention that there are requirements that are required for you to make the steps, the moves, for you to draw to where God is. Because even God himself says, if you shall draw near unto me then, and only then will I make my step to begin to draw near to where you are. The Bible says it this way. If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, whose voice have you hearkened to? Whose voice have you given your attention? When God is making demands, when God is saying tithe, when God is saying pray, when God is saying serve me, when God is saying move this way, whose voice do you give your attention? Ah. You see, when God, when, when you hear the Bible says, you shall diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God. The Bible has not told you that there are many other voices, but for the Bible to say that you shall hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, it means there are other voices that may be audible than the voice of God. Hmm. Now, the question is, God, how does your voice look like 
where do I find your voice? Because I want the promise you promised in my life to come to pass. I want to get to be that man that I have had men of God prophesy in my life. How, you see, every time God gives a promise, people say that he doesn't give, he doesn't show you how to get there. You see, when God is telling uh, Abraham, uh, leave your people, leave your house, leave everything, and go to a place that I will show you, and there, when you get there, when you see, it is until you have complied with the requirement of God, the same way you came to receive. There are people who are here waiting for me to begin to prophesy. I will prophesy. There are people who came to receive. Man of God have come. This is my day. They have even convinced their, their, their mind that this is my today. Uh, the man of God must locate me and prophesy. The man of God must. You see the same way you came with an expectation to receive. That is the same way you see the Bible says it this way. Wherever two or three are gathered. I am in their midst. Now you came with your expectation. Do you think that God just is here without any expectation from you? Listen. You can be in the presence where God is and fail to experience the blessings and the move of God simply because you failed yourself. You failed to, 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 to get to comply with the conditions and requirements that are required of you. Hmm. You can meet your destiny like this and fail profit from that man, that woman, that opportunity only simply because you failed to comply with the requirement. Peter is with Jesus and he's telling Jesus if it is you because he saw Jesus walking on water. He said it to him, he told Jesus if it is you, I want you to make me walk on water. And Peter made the first step, the second step. And at a point the Bible says this man, he began to sink. Notice that Jesus was there. He was able to reach out his hand and help Peter out of his draining. But you see, as long as Peter was not doing something, Jesus will not do anything. The same Jesus that you know. The same Jesus you read in your Bible. The same Jesus that you have come to encounter tonight. The Bible says it was until Peter screamed and said Lord! Ha. You, see, you can be in the presence of God. You can be in a power packed service like this and fail to experience your breakthrough, your miracle, your expectation only because you have failed to do something that you are required to do for you to experience what hmm. the Bible says if thou shalt hearken diligently diligently you see child of God my, my father was telling me yesterday I love my father you see I have the best coach in the whole world he was telling me, my son, you see, people expect uh, when, when you give today and you begin to be blessed immediately. God, I gave. I tithed. And he asked me something. He, to he told me, when you go to the bank and you begin to bank with your bank, you deposit today and tomorrow you go back, you tell them, I want a loan. Do you think you will be qualified? Because what the, what the, the bank is interested in is this word diligent. How diligent are you? How consistent are you? Just because I, I and my son was testifying today, he prayed one hour. You see, my son, if you want to grow, now you will have to be diligent. Ha. <laughs> 
You don't just read the Bible today a few verses and you begin to uh, to desire to preach like me. You see there are people when I began this ministry uh, there are people who are so moved because I think they thought I, I make a lot of money just by me having to be a, a man of God and preaching the gospel. And they said I'm going to begin it if Jephthah can do it. Ah, you see what they lacked, what they didn't understand is the, the process that I have been through for me to be here. To gather 24 people right now on Emo. To gather people on Facebook and on TikTok like this and get to preach to them. Hmm. Huh. You see, child of God, it takes diligence. It takes diligence. Diligence. You see, women. You see, a woman when you, men when you are chasing a woman, the first day you talk to a woman like this, she has already made her decision whether she she has she will say yes or no. I tell you the truth. She has already made her decision that first day. When she's saying I'm confused, she's lying to you. When she's telling you I need to, th she's lying to you. You see, the first day you approach a woman, you tell her I, li I like you and all the things you tell her. That particular time, she has already made her decision. Women, they are here. If I'm lying, they will tell you I'm, they are here. <laughs> but you see this woman at sometimes because of I don't know she doesn't want to seem cheap uh, she wants to I don't know whatever else they protect they will want to try they want to measure they want to know they want to see how serious is this man <laughs> So now the Bible says, if thou shalt hearken diligently, if you will have the passion, if you will have the desire, if you will give yourself to be, to be, you, you need to be honest, you know, you, you need to be longing to hear the voice of the Lord your God. Listen, the Bible says, to observe and to do all his commandments which i commanded thee this day now listen i'll go back to part a which says and it shall come to pass that the lord god thy god will set thee on high above all nations on earth hmm. this should tell you that the reason why you have not been on high the reason why you have not been above, the reason why you are not performing is because you have not been diligently, you have not hearkened yourself diligently to the voice of the Lord. The reason why you are poor, the reason why you have no result is because you have not observed to do all the commandments which the Lord has commanded thee. You see, the moment you begin to meet the requirement of God, the moment you begin to do what God is expecting from you, the Bible has assured you, I decree and I declare to everybody that is here today and is saying in their hearts from today, I am going to change my mentality. I will not listen to what people are saying. I will follow up on what God is saying. You know, it is only today where we have people. When people in the house of God are saying, me, I'm not giving. You also will be there. Also, me, I'll not give. Me, I'm not going to pray. Also, me, I'm not going to pray. I'm not going to church today. Also, me, you see, child of God, you are in relationship with God is personal. I didn't begin this ministry because I, I had no idea even how to do emo. I had no idea even how to do uh, Facebook and TikTok. I had no idea how to do YouTube. I had no idea. But you see, when God wanted me to be here, when God wanted me to be here, child of God, he provided everything I needed for me to be here tonight preaching to you this gospel. Ah, listen and listen good. 
child of God, the Bible says, hmm, the Lord God, the Lord thy God will set thee on high above. You see, your position is above. Hmm. Your position is above your brothers. Your position is above where you are working, child of God. You you deserve, you, you are supposed to be the best promoted. You are supposed to be the highest in earnings. You are supposed, child of God, your place is above. 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 Hmm. If you have somebody above you, if you have people who are prospering more than you, then it means that child of God, there is a problem with you. There is there is a problem. Ah, you see, the re, the, the moment you begin to comply, my people on emo. Ah, if you can hear me on emo, please let me know. The reason why you are not where you desire to be, the reason why people are stepping on you, the reason why people don't value you, the reason why you are not performing, you are not a performer, you have no result is because you have failed. You want to be above, but you don't want to do what it takes to be above. You want to be rich, but when the man of God is saying, give, you are stingy. You are like, uh-uh. You want to excel, but when you are given the way, you see, the problem is, you, you people think that making money is very difficult. But if people will come here and tell you the tricks, the, 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 the systems, the, the way, how they make money, some of you will not believe it because you think that it is so difficult. You see, I came to learn that every rich man you know, they have a consist, they have a, cons a, a consistency kind of lifestyle that they, they have given themselves to every single day. I don't know if you have ever met somebody who have determined that they are going to lose weight. I don't know if you have ever met somebody who have who they have determined I want to be obese. I want I just want to be fat. I don't know if you have ever met somebody who has ah. Uh, you see, all you are lacking is the pattern, and the pattern is what I came to give you today. That child of God, if you ever want to be above, if you ever want to be on top, if you ever want to be number one child of God, if you ever want to experience the blessings of God, the blessings are not in the you having to open, you see, you might open, you, you, are, you might have the, 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 the hugest di diameter of opening your mouth, but it doesn't matter the kind or the amount of noise you make. You, you know, there are men who tell you the, 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 sh the louder you shout, I receive the more you will experience. Shallow, the, it doesn't work like that. There are some things that for you to receive. Right now, if I, if, I, if I lay my hands on you and I begin to pray, receive pregnancy, receive pregnancy, it will take a miracle. I am not saying it is not. It is possible. It will take a miracle. But you see, there is a channel that you have been given that if you want to make a baby, this is what you do, and after you do this, this is what you do, and after you do, there is a process and a pattern, there is a way. May God give you the ability, the grace. You see, the Bible says, and all these blessings... You see, this blessing don't just happen. It, it doesn't matter how expectant you are. This blessing, they don't just happen. They are requirements. The Bible says, after you do so, all these blessings shall come on you. You will not have to pray. You see, you don't have to pray, Father, bless me. Father, bless me. The way for you to receive all this blessing has already been given to you in verses number one. 
all these blessings shall come unto thee and overtake thee. Huh? And if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, verse 3, blessed shalt thou be in the city and blessed shalt thou be in the field. Now the reason why you are not blessed, the reason why you are dry, you have no result, you have no testimony, you have nothing happening in your life is because you have not given yourself to the voice of God. Right now, I'm about to begin to prophesy. Watch. Watch Facebook, TikTok, Emo. Watch how people begin to come in. Not because we are sharing, no. But now, when we are talking, when we are giving the formula, when we are teaching you how to get to be your own prophet, you are too lazy. You, you feel like you are wasting time. You feel like the man of God is preaching too much. Man of God, why don't we just prophesy? We know you. When you begin to prophesy, child of God, you see, it's because of our laziness that we have not been able to be polished. We have not been able to be broken. We have not been able to be made. We have not been able to be fashion, to be functioned, to become who God wants us to be. Why? Because we want easy things. We want shortcuts. We want just, man of God, just lay my hand on me and all will be okay. You know, if I tell somebody here, people come to me with various needs. But believe me, if I tell somebody, go on YouTube and listen to this. One sermon. One teaching. People, they, some of them, they will be lazy. They will be like, ah, man of God, ah, man of God why, why are you doing this to me? Just prophesy. But you see, the key the scheme, the pattern, you see, what will cause somebody to experience some greatness is until you are ready to sit. Martha was very worried here and there. Why is my sister seated on your, seat, on your feet? I'm busy. I'm the one cooking washing utensils and the one serving and doing all the things. She was busy in the kitchen. That's what the Bible says. But Jesus told her one thing is needed. One thing is needed. Child of God. You see the moment you identify that one thing that is needed for you to experience your blessing, for you to experience your answer, for you to experience your breakthrough. One you, once you learn that one thing that is needed for your breakthrough. You can never in your life again be limited. May God release the grace on TikTok, on Emo, on Facebook. May God release the grace that somebody under the influence of my voice you will have the ability for you to rise and get to find that one thing that is needed for your life to be what God wants it to be. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I had a name like Joyce. I don't know who is connected to this name. Joyce. In the name of the Spirit, I saw a name like Joyce. I don't know if I have anybody in this service on Facebook, on TikTok. Somebody saying, my cousin. I'm seeing a lot of liberation taking place in the life of, of Joyce. Because I'm seeing her making decisions and saying that from today, 
I am going to change my life because I'm looking at her life and it's like her life has not been so good. She has not been a, a, a very decent lady. I don't know. You can help me to confirm if what I'm saying is making sense. And I am seeing her changing her life. I'm seeing her like saying now I want to change my life. I want to be born again. I want to pray for Joyce. I want to pray for Joyce. I decree and declare today that nothing shall ever bring her down. Susan is saying she called for that yesterday. You see, she reached to a point whereby it's like she realized that her life had not been going so well. And the Lord says, he has need. He has need for Joyce. Joyce will serve God. I want to pray for her that nothing will bring her down. God is going to send men who will stand in for Joyce. And her salvation is going to stand in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I speak it, so shall it be her portion. In the mighty name of Jesus, somebody wherever you are, you can type amen for Joyce. It is done. It is done. I feel I want to prophesy. I want to prophesy. This thing is really hitting me from the inside. Uh, I've never been pregnant, but I'm sure. <laughs> I am sure that this is how pregnant women feel. I want to prophesy. I'm not in a hurry. I was born to do this. Ah, I want to prophesy. Uh, Joy, Joy was looking for me and she never called me. Uh, make sure we talk, Joy, Cynthia. I want to prophesy. My eyes are open. My eyes are, are open. Boss Lady, I'm so happy to see you here. Thank you for coming. Uh, no wonder I'm feeling this way. <laughs> I want to prophesy to somebody. You see, today, somebody's life is taking a whole new turn today in the name of Jesus. Hmm. We cannot be under such an atmosphere. You see, I sometimes I usually wish we can have like two or three people who can feel what I usually feel. Winnie, today is your day. Come, Winnie, come very fast. You see, yesterday, uh, your friend begged me to prophesy to you, and now that my eyes are open, come and take advantage. Come, come. Somebody give Winnie a seat very quickly on, on Imo. Thank you, Jesus. We need come. Come very, very, very fast. Take number six. Uh, I am here. If you are here, you are sick. Raise up your hand. I want to pray for you right about now. If you are here, you are sick. Uh, Georgia, Inda. Oh, I see you, Jamie. God bless you. Uh, if you are here, you are sick. Raise up your hand. Uh, somebody help, help, help Winnie on how to get on that seat very quickly. Uh, you see, sometimes I don't, do, I don't do so well in box, but when I'm here, I can prophesy. I can see well, well. <laughs> uh, sometimes people follow me on my inbox. They tell me, man of God, go deeper, go deeper. This is, the, this is the battlefield. This is the field where if you are there, you are sick, raise up your hand. I want to pray for you right now, and God is going to heal you right about now. You are here, you are sick. Thank you, Jesus. Winnie, what you do, you just click on that number six. It will tell you, take seat. And then click, take seat, and you will be up. And you will be up. And God will bless you in Jesus' name. Uh, Jamie, I can see love in the air. Jamie wants me to prophesy to her fiancé. I'm coming. I'm so, so on fire today. Huh? I'm so, so on fire today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, it seems like Winnie is not interested we can go to the next one. 
we can my eyes are open you see my eyes are open my eyes are surely open in the night Cynthia come take number six very fast thank you Jesus you see uh, joy what I saw in the realm of the spirit I saw something happening and I saw something like rivers and the Lord told me tell Cynthia from today she will never be dry because I'm seeing a tendency of your life going up and down up and down up and down and the Lord told me tell Cynthia if she can give herself into the service of God I am going to lift this woman and make her a river I am going to make her a compendium of solutions you see there, there is God in heaven Cynthia you may have been in darkness in tears and in pains but the Lord told me to tell you today because even as I'm speaking to you I'm seeing something like pains on your stomach I don't know if I'm making sense Cynthia exactly exactly you, you're right the Lord told me uh, is that pain there right now as I'm speaking to you yes I feel that pain in my stomach the Lord told me to tell you beside, uh, beside this stomach pain every emotional pain in your life any pain in your life today is coming to an end put your hand on your stomach I want to pray for you and that pain is going to cease right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I speak to that pain and I command it out of her life, out of her stomach as I make this declaration in the name of Jesus. From where you are, Cynthia, receive your relief. No more pain from this moment as I make this declaration. Expect Experience your relief in Jesus' mighty name. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is done. Uh, how are you feeling? Feel the stomach and tell me if the pain is still there. Let me know what is happening from your side. When I beat in, so as uh, i right now the the pain is still there breathe in again and breathe out and then breathe in and breathe out and tell me how you're feeling do it thank you jesus I can't feel anything. The pain is gone. You see, this, gone. the same way that pain has disappeared, so is any pain in your life disappearing right now in the name of Jesus. As I'm speaking these words, let the power of God move you and cause you to experience your relief, your joy, and your power in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I had in my I had in my right ear I had ring I had something like a ring a bell ringing and the Lord told me tell Cynthia Joy that her time for her to begin her journey has come because I'm seeing you in the realm of the spirit you have been trying some things and it's like they have not been working. I'm talking about things to do with money, uh, things to do in your family. Uh, it's like I'm seeing, I don't know if it is a project, I don't know what you have been doing, but it's like every time you try to do it, it doesn't, it doesn't go through. Every time you, the Lord told me your time has come. I don't know if I'm making sense to you, Cynthia. It is true what you are saying. May God of this place move in your life. I decree an alignment. I declare an alignment from where you are in the name of Jesus. Experience it in Jesus' name. 
Amen. you will make it no shame Amen. no shame Amen. in jesus mighty name it is done it is done it is done just like that it is done thank you jesus lipadazeke ah it is done it is done it is done metrin eh lipaseke bela how are you metrin hello to pastor do you know juma who eh nani do you know anybody called juma Juma, like a Luo, was he a Luo or what? What tribe was he? Oh, Juma, 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 Juma is my my friend. Is that a Luo? Eh, um, I saw somebody like a Luo man called Juma. Yes, it's my friend. How 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 is your relationship with this Juma? Huh? Pastor, ali ni approach but nikamfuatilia nikapata kwa nabibi na nikamruka na nikamblock. This is why I don't trust any woman when they tell me a certain man is their friend. Ah, friend. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you you do that with me. <laughs> Somebody came. I don't know if they are still here. I told me man of God pray for my friend. The Lord opened my eyes. I asked I asked them, I guess it is she's here. I can see her. I asked I ask her, are you sure this man is he told me man of God. <laughs> uh, I saw Juma The Lord opened my eyes and I saw Juma. And it's like what this man da- did to you is is not the first time. He's not the first man who has lied to you. It's like they came to you, approached you, uh, seeking for a relationship only to find out that either they are in another relationship or their marriage. I don't know if I'm making sense to you, uh, Metrin. It's true. Yeah. He has a wife. <laughs> Fear men. <laughs> men are to be feared <laughs> like a, a police station. <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> uh, but it's not only him even even you know <laughs> this thing uh, this thing I'm I'm not going to go deep on that. Go deeper, go deeper. <laughs> hey, can I prophesy to somebody here? You see, hey, the Lord told me that these patterns because it's like every time you find anybody and this always happens to the men you find to be potential. Those that you say this is my type. The moment you try and you go deeper you realize that this man is either they are dating or they are having a relationship. But the Lord God told me to tell you that that thing that happened with the Juma it will not affect your life again metrin from today. Do you hear me? Yes. It is no longer it is not your portion again. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Diana, Diana, do you have a do you have a daughter? Do you have do you have a kid? Diana on, on TikTok. Just type, I can't hear you. Do you, do you have a kid? Uh. The Lord is moving for you, Matrin. And what God told me is that your season has come before because in the realm of the spirit. I saw I saw a witch. I saw a witch like tying things. And this witch as she was doing those ties, she was saying that as I tie these things so shall your life be tied. Your relationship, your marriage life be tied. 
And the Lord God told me, Son of man, prophesy to the life of Matrin and let her know that from today, every tie in her life has been broken loose in the name of Jesus. Amen. Because I'm seeing ties in your finances, in your relationship, to a point that these ties at sometimes it has brought about differences even in your family because sometimes uh, most people that talk to you from your family they only talk to you because they want money from you i don't know if i'm making sense matron making sense first today i release freedom 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 I'm seeing somebody in your family, he, this person just, is like they fell down and died. Hmm? Do you have any incident like that was, in your family? Eh? It was, it was uh, the wife to my, my, my father. It was like a mystery, my father. like my a mysterious death. This person just, they fell dead. Huh? Yes, yes. Hmm. I decree and declare that any spirit that is after your life, nobody is going to die prematurely in your family. Because this arrow that killed this woman was actually, where is your father right now? My father is at home. Where you? You see, this 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 arrow was directed at your father but god preserved his life i'm seeing your father being hunted he, he is hunt, such that as i speak to you it's like i'm seeing him, he doesn't like to be home he doesn't like to be in his home a lot i don't know if what i'm saying is making sense huh it's true True. because i'm seeing him being hunted there are people who have shown that they will not rest until your father is down but the lord god told me to tell you that you are about to know that matron there is god in heaven i'm seeing a lot of restoration happening i'm seeing a lot of restoration happening may the lord god of heaven move in the mighty name of jesus i'm seeing a problem with women from your family and this thing has got to do with something like premature death women die early women die younger because I'm seeing a pattern of women dying, women dying, women. I don't know if what I'm saying is making sense. It's true, Pastor. Where is your mother? My mother died when I was, I was in class seven. I decree and declare that pattern of death that attacks women in your family. Today, by the virtue that you are under the influence of my voice, I decree and declare, may my grace work for you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. From today, that chain is broken. It is broken. You will not die. You will not die because I don't know why I'm seeing you at some times being afraid of death or something. Lepazado Shakaza. Huh? problem but I thank God one bob last I think it was last week. Nilikuwa one bob kwa M pesa peke yake na ukasema mtu atume chochote kwa nacho kwa sima nikatumia shilingi moja hiyo. Tangi wakati tumbo ilipomba kana size jai ni uma iliendanga tu hiyo. Sasa tumbo ilikuwa inafanya unaskeni kama utakufa. Hey, 
Ay. O sea. <laughs> this is the God we serve in this place. I decree and declare. Nothing will pin you down in the name of Jesus. Nothing will pin you down. Amen. In Jesus name it is done. Amen. It is done. You uh, Jackie, I'm seeing a namesake. Somebody like Orina. Do you have anybody else called Orina? Jackie on Imo. Do you have anybody in your family Orina? Yes. A man or a woman? Man. Where is this? Where is this? Orina, huh? It it Orina, this is the age of my dad and he passed a long time ago. Now, do you have any namesake? No, no, that they are dead, alive right now. Orina. I saw somebody like Orina. Yes, they are. Who is this? Not only one. It's uh, my uncles. Ah. So, Orina is like your family name or? Yes. Ah, okay. Now, this one I'm seeing is like they, they also put on specs like you he passed away he passed away he was a, a yes he has a son yeah he has one son has he ever been something like a polytechnic or something he tried to go in a polytechnic but when the uncle died Mother, he already that uncle he married first wife. He's he okay. Some uh, small children and uh, he went. He took the boy to school, but he did not complete. Now, because of the grace of God and out of your service in this place. Yes. Because I'm seeing this man going from one family to another family one family to where does he live he, he lives here in nairobi he was he initially was living in naivasha but he's a born again cousin of mine yeah at the time i i even invited him to join our church he lives here in uh, i think i think uh pipeline okay. ah pipeline yeah. then Invite him to church. Tell him to come. God wants to change his life. Amen. God has interest with this man's life. Amen. And the Lord told me to tell you that his time of moving in circles is over. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Is he married? Yes, he's married. Uh, in fact, he did a wedding. He has four children. The Lord says that. But the the, but the, way, the huh? wife is in is in Saudi now. The Lord says he will be established, and I'm seeing a lot of circles in his life. Pipeline no is man of God. I'm at the pipeline of God. is not his po position. That is not his place. You see, it's a high time when you talk to him, tell him to change his mentality. He Amen. deserves better and greater. As I'm speaking these words, may the God of heaven, I saw something like kidney threat. I don't know if she, he has ever shared with you some, if, uh, about what I'm talking about, like kidney threat. Huh? Yeah, he, he almost complained of uh, stomach. He will not be cut. His life will not be cut short. Amen. His life will not be cut short. As I'm speaking these words, may God of heaven move for Orina wherever he is. Amen. As I mention his, his, his name on this altar today. In the mighty 
name of Jesus, I, I decree and declare cancellation of any curse upon his life. He will not wander from one place to another. Establishment Amen. is his portion in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. As I speak it, so shall it be his portion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ it is done. I don't know if you have anybody that is sick. I'm coming, Karibena. Uh, Diana, I'm coming. Facebook, if you are there, you are sick, type. Just type. I am sick and God is going to heal you right now. In fact, if you are sick, evangelist, you want to talk to me? Yes, evangelist. Uh, Dad, my friend Win is here. I called her a million times. I didn't see her coming up. Maybe a juku chukua kiti. Help her, help her. Ah. Uh, I want anybody that is sick, wherever you are, Facebook, TikTok, emo, put your hand where you are feeling pain. Lovin, are you sick? Somebody give uh, Winnie a seat again. Chosen. Uh, oh. These people that are lifting their hands, are you sick? I come shaba, I'm mute and talk to me. Chosen, let me understand. I'm coming, I'm coming. Uh, then I'm coming. Uh, you are here, you are sick. Yes, chosen. Yeah, daddy, have a prayer request. No sick. It's a prayer request. Yes. Yes. Okay, yesterday I talked to my sister. She is somewhere stranded in Saudi Arabia. She needs just prayer. She is stranded. So I want you to pray for her. Don't do that. I, I saw her being deported. Do you want her to be deported or you want her to keep working? No, Daddy. Let, let her stay. She wants to stay in 10 years. But I want her to be Even if she wants 50 years. What's her name again? Uh, Phyllis. Father, wherever Phyllis is, I decree and declare restoration. Amen. Restoration. Amen. Tomorrow by 9 a.m. Testimony in Amen. the name of Jesus. Let Amen. this grace move and work for this woman wherever she is. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is done. It is done. Amen. In Jesus' Amen. mighty name. It is done. Now, Diana, uh, mm. Diana in Jendi. The Lord told me to tell you freedom is your portion. And the Lord also reminded me of something to do with the finances. And he told me that from today, you are going to operate in money favorably. I don't know what that means. Because I saw you having a very special grace of money. But it's like every time money comes, you see there are things that can happen until uh, people begin to, to feel like I don't have to work this hard. I don't know if you are still there at dinner. Diana. The Lord God told me to tell you that you are going to have the grace to do development and even to help yourself with the kind of money you make. Because to you, it's like making money is not a problem. But sometimes, I don't know if I'm making sense. You can type me so that I know I'm talking to the right Diana. The Lord told me that money from today is going to accept you and is going to work for you in the name of Jesus. Now one more thing I'm seeing, I'm not sure if this is you or somebody with something like stomach issues. I'm seeing something like stomach pains that has also got you to a point that is like you can't eat everything. 
It's like there are things you can eat and there are things that you, when every time you eat them, you will have stomach issues. If you are still there, please, Diana, talk to me. You can type, Pastor, pray for my relationship with uh, Ainea. Uh, we want to get married. We want God's approval. Karibena. <laughs> You want to get married and you want that approval. <laughs> ah, ah. You see, the Bible says whoever finds a woman, whoever finds a woman has found a good thing. Now, I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to pray for you because I'm seeing like some strange forces. I'm seeing some strange forces that has been fighting your relationship. Because at some times I saw a very abnormal silence. I don't know if I'm making sense, Karibena. You can type. I don't know if I'm the one who is not seeing the, the comments or people are not commenting. Somebody type something on TikTok so that I know. Uh, I get to understand what is happening. But the Lord God told me to tell you that nothing, no, no, no evil intention will separate your relationship in the name of Jesus. Ah, she's saying true. The Lord has come for you. Because this marriage, it will take God for it to stand. Sometimes the enemy will, will not, he will allow you to get married so that when you are married and in the marriage, he can come and throw you up into a divorce that will frustrate and break your heart badly. But the Lord told me to tell you, your marriage will stand. Your marriage will stand. What has been fighting your relationships? What have been fighting marriages in your family today? It is broken. In the name of Jesus, from where you are, experience it. Experience it. In the name of Jesus. I don't know what connection you have. Do you, do you have anything to do with the Kampala? Karibena. Because I keep on seeing Kampala every time I'm talking to you. I am keep on seeing Kampala. What connection do you have with Kampala in Uganda? Ah. Ah, Ibrahim, we are in the prophetic atmosphere here. Do you have any connection with Uganda, uh, Kampala, Karibena? I don't know why I keep on seeing Kampala. Kampala. May the Lord God of heaven establish your relationship. Let your marriage be prosperous. May peace follow you into that marriage. Let the blessings of God abide with you in the name of Jesus. As I make this declaration, so shall it be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name. Do you know Wycliffe? Eh, Karibena. Do you know Wycliffe? It is done in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know if you know anybody by the name Wycliffe. Wycliffe. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, those people that were raising their hands, uh, who else? Uh, Kamushaba. Uh, Kamushaba, are you sick? Uh, Kamushaba, I'm seeing another guy with uh, some like Hebrew writings. I don't know if you understand English. Uh, my nephew is called Cliff. Thank you, Jesus. Akam Shabalovin, if somebody muted her, please you can unmute her for me. 
you can unmute her for me thank you jesus or maybe it was by mistake we need unmute wickliffe's education will not be interrupted in the name of jesus christ any limitation that limits men from his family where he comes from may the god of heaven move and restore the life of wickliffe wherever he is in the name of jesus christ i have spoken in jesus mighty name it is done wini habari yako wini salama salama pastor sasa mungu amekukumbuka mungu amekukumbuka kwa sababu nilikuwa na nime in my in, in the spiritual realm i saw you praying na nilikuwa na kana kwamba ulikuwa naombea mtoto. Do you do you have a kid? Yes. I saw you praying for a child. What is wrong with this child? Hello? Ta, shida ya huyu mtoto ni gani? Nilikuwa na Kiswahili bana. Sijui prophet kilikuja tu na kizungu. <laughs> Can you understand any English? Yeah, I understand. Yeah, now I saw you praying is like you are praying for your child and what is the problem with this child? Are you still there? Yeah, me. Mm. Shida niko hapo ni venye network yangu, network yangu inanisumbua kidogo inakuja ikipotea. Shida ya mtoto ni gani pole? Mimi niko na watoto wawili, girl and boy. Mhm. Na huyo huyo msichana jana ndo niliongea na mom. Shida yake ni gani? Shida yake ni gani ili tuokoe muda? Shida yake ni gani? Exactly sijui shida ni nini but niliambiwa ana jukuna macho na zina fura. Wow. Today I'm going to pray na mtoto wako atawekwa huru leo katika jina la Yesu Kristo Where are you? Uko wapi wini? Where are you wini? Niko Saudi. What happened? Nili tatizo ya ndoa yako ilikuwa lipi? Ya mimi naitwa sema in my life sijai olewa lakini nimekuwa nikidedi tu hawa naume so hawa watoto wawili wako na different baba now i saw you yeah. uh, you have never lived with any man ya haujawaishi na mwanaume yote wini kolewa mimi sijai olewa ni ile tu napatana na mwanaume and then haujawahi kuishi na mwanaume yeyote Jawai. Okay. Jawai. Ah, my people on Facebook I'm coming. I'm coming because the reason why I'm asking you so is because I saw it's like a lost marriage. You see what is happening in your life? The devil has purposed kukuchanganya. The devil has purposed to confuse you because I saw blessings attached to something like a marriage. And because the devil knows that the moment you will be married, your life will change. And you will be expanded. One of the area that the enemy has been determined as determined to to frustrate you is in the area of marriage. 
Because even right now as I'm speaking to you, I'm seeing a potential relationship. Do you, are you dating right now? Yeah, niko na jama niko na yeye. But naweza sema tujaionana ni baada tumekutana tu online. You see what I, what I want to tell you uh we will find find time and we will talk more tafuta wakati unipigie tutaongea mengi tutaongea mengi tutaongea mengi but i saw something like an attack on the backbone ushawahi kuwa na uchungu kwa kwa mgongo wako kitu kama ama ukifanya kazi unachoka mgongo sana Yeah, Sasa hivi as I'm speaking to you, are you in any pain? Sasa si hizi pain but wakati nafanya kazi hata nikina mamda mtazo tu nikinuka unakuwa ni uchungu. Nataka uweke mkono kwa mgongo. Put your hand on your back where you usually feel pain. Okay. I want to pray for you right now. In the name of Jesus. Put your hand there. Father, I decree and I declare from where Winnie is right about now. Let that pain on her back disappear in the name of Jesus. I set your your spinal cord free. The entire back in the name of Jesus from today You will not experience those pains. As I speak these words, so shall it be your portion in Jesus mighty name. It is done. Be free. Be free. In Jesus mighty name, it is done. Now, in your family at home, I'm seeing something like a land issue is like scarcity of land muko na shamba kweli land issue muko na shamba au upande wa shida ya shamba siezi jua siezi jua zaidi where 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 are your parents niko na mom dad alikufa kitambo tukiwa bado wadogo mm. talk to your mama so niko na mama nataka uongee na mama yako and try to find yeah. out what is happening with the land issue what is happening with the land back at home do you understand yeah na understand yeah ongea na mama ujaribu kujue What is the situation right now because I'm seeing a land problem and the exact thing I saw is like something like land scarcity and ni kama kukosa shamba so there are people that are after your your land back at home issue ya land naweza kumbuka tu issue ya land ya land ilikuwa brother yake babangu hakuhudhia babangu shamba so vile babangu alifariki huyo brother yake akaenda akachukua ile shamba yote na akauzia kwa watu wanaishi ndani so right now do you have a land muko na shamba tuko na shamba tu kadogo kadogo sana na babangu bifa wewe mamangu alikuwa yeah. ame alikuwa ame hurt ya um, Thank you. That is what I saw. I saw nimekuelewa. I saw scat, yeah. scarcity of land. That is what I, I was addressing. It's not the will and the plan of God for you to be to living that kind of life. Imagine you you used to have land the brother to your father sold the land to people and now people are living the land that is supposed yeah. to be yours 
Yes. May the God of heaven, the Lord I serve, move for you in the name of Jesus. This issue of land scarcity. The Lord that has revealed as a plan because I saw your boundary expanding. Imeona mipaka uko nyumbani ikipanuka. As I speak it, may the God of heaven move to see to it that you will not live in land scarcity in the name of Jesus. Amtaishi kwa ukosefu wa shamba tena. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. What happens with your stomach hapa chini ya tumbo? Wewe unahisi uchungu wote chini ya tumbo yako hapa chini ya kitovu? La, maybe zile siku zangu tu zikifika peke yake lakini zikiisha mimi niko sawa. Ni uchungu ambao uko nomo lama una kiasi ya kwamba uwezi kufanya kazi. Wewe unakuwa tu ni normal. Put your hand on your womb. Father, no attack will ever work on her womb from today. The fruit of her womb is blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because sasa mimi naona unafanya kazi sana lakini hauna pesa. Wewe pesa yako inaenda wapi wini? Huh? ni majukumu tu ni majukumu tu nikipata na yani yenyewe si pesa niko nao ni kidogo sana kulingana na ile muda nimekaa huku na hiyo kidogo niko nao nilikuwa nataka nitengeneze my mom nyumba so nitasema sina pesa kwa sahihi so nikipata pesa uanga tu na budget na fana budget na pesa maisha so nashindwa hata from today put your hand on your head From today this very minute I decree and I declare money will work for you in Jesus name. Amen. Every work of the devil every spirit that interferes with your finances. Every spirit every schemes that have ganged to see to it that you will go back home frustrated. Today may God of heaven set you free in Jesus name. As I speak these words may the power of God move for you. May the power of God establish you in the name of Jesus from where you are experience God. I decree and declare new levels in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. From where you are, may you experience God. May God of this place move for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is done. God bless you and increase you in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Um uh, uh Lovin, what is the what was the issue with Lovin? Praise God, Pastor. Amen. I thank God. Uh, I thank God I'm not sick, but I'm in, not in a good situation. Still, these people they change every day. Just I'm overthinking, stressed. So, like since she, I said so, that I want to go home. They wanted me to come back, and they didn't. They don't want to increase my salary. So, since I said I will not come back. when you don't add on my salary they change every day so i don't know i'm thinking headache stress i mean not good condition pansy god is moving your way so what the, what is the problem i didn't understand what the problem is what do you want god to do for you uh the problem is that they wanted me to work while they didn't want to 
I said, me, I want to go home to be with them. Now I so see that they, they don't, don't want, want to me. process your passport, your passport or what? Yes. Wow. I decree and I declare in the name. You see, the same way God moved for Mary. You see, you used to be with Mary there, right? Yes. And God, God moved for you, for Mary. And Mary traveled safe. I decree and I declare the same God that moved for Mary is moving for you in Jesus' mighty name. As I make this declaration today, may God of heaven locate you right about now in the name of Jesus. When do you want to travel, uh, Lovin? Uh, I wanted to travel like 24th this month, but they don't want. Okay. Father, make a way for Lovin. Wherever she is, in the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare today her time has come in the mighty name of Jesus I unlock her journey this moment as I speak these words in Jesus mighty name let her path her highway be opened tonight in the name of Jesus as I am making this declaration wherever you are receive your access in Jesus mighty name receive your access you will travel you will travel before the end of this month your testimony will be your portion in Jesus mighty name I have spoken may God of heaven move for you in the name of Jesus Christ, it is done. It is done. God bless you. God bless you. It is done. And from, from where you are, experience an increase of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. And do you well. In Jesus mighty name. In the name of Jesus. Father, I bless everybody on Emo. Those that are on TikTok, on Facebook. Let a shift happen in their lives. May their lives never be the same again. Your grace, your abundance is their portion. May they forever be lifted. May they forever arise in levels that they have never imagined possible. In Jesus' name, as I decree, so shall it be their portion. Somebody under the influence of my voice, wherever you are, you can type, Amen, I receive. In Jesus' name. Tomorrow we'll be here. If I've not ministered to you, come tomorrow. We will talk more. Uh, come tomorrow and God will move for you. In Jesus' name. We are having our lunch hour service tomorrow. I'll be here. And the Lord God will be moving in a very dynamic, special way. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. George, you see, uh, because of Jamie, Jamie told me, man of God, please <laughs> uh, talk to George. Uh, how are you, George? God bless you. Wow, wow. Do you know do you know you are a man of God? Yeah. Do, you, do you know that? <laughs> I know. One thing I saw upon your life, I saw the grace of God. I saw an anointing upon your head. And this you can even tell because most of the friends you have around you 
some of them are serious ministers some of your friends i'm seeing some who are ministers some even pastors i don't even making so sense to you george that's true. that's true now the lord told me he has ordained there is a call of god upon your head there is a call of god upon i'm hearing a name like dixon do you know anybody called dixon What does Dixon does? It's a good friend of mine, a photo man. Wow. So, uh, is he is he a church man, something like that? Yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm seeing him. It's like I I don't know the length of your discussion, but. I saw him is like at a time he lost something like a marriage. I don't know if I'm making sense. Him? Yes. I haven't checked on that. Or oh, you haven't yeah. gone in length. Is okay. Yeah, I haven't. Now. Yeah. The Lord told me to tell you that he has ordained and anointed you for ministry. Yeah, we're glad. For this glad reason, you, you see sometimes I, I see you receiving deals. But a few, some of okay. them they don't work. Most of the great deals people have offered you don't go through. I don't ever making sense to you, uh, George. I want to pray for you that God will position you to your place. Because sometimes the reason why you sometimes experience uh, you experience like people try to 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 to, to deflect oppositions. The reason why sometimes you don't get what you deserve is because you you are position there is a place that god wants you to be i don't know if it is possible but if you can if you are in a position begin to get serious with the things of god begin to just get serious with the things of god because out of this the lord god is going to unlock a lot of things in your life the lord god is going to unlock a lot of things in your life as i'm i'm, I'm speaking this i'm seeing i'm seeing something like a, i don't know it is a disagreement and this uh, disagreement has got to do with the money it's like somebody owes you a very huge a serious amount of money i don't ever making sense to you george And it's like every time you 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 are talking, your conversation does not end well. Huh? Yeah. <clears throat> How much are we talking about here? One hundred thousand. This man today, I want just to do to do you one. I want to give you one gift just for coming today. I'm going to pray. Mark my words. Yeah. Under 14 days. This man will have paid your money in full. Because I'm seeing him dragging. It has been a long while of time. Huh? Today I decree and declare. If I be a man of God. In the next one, two, three, fourteen days, may this man pay up what he owes you in full. In the name of Jesus, 
as I speak these words, may they be your portion from where you are, George. In Jesus' mighty name, I have spoken. May my God move for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will see God. It is done. God bless you and God bless everybody. Thank you so much. Back to you, Chosen. And thank you so much. Uh, it has been a very powerful, glorious day. As Chosen is coming, uh, if you are in a position to do your offering, the number will be pinned there on emo on TikTok. The number is 797 189 On Facebook, the number is running on your screen. TikTok, the number is 7 nine seven one eight nine four hundred god bless you everybody shalom and thank you back to you chosen